Hey guys, it's Huge. Today I've spent some time trying out the Smith Dungeon. It's located to the east of the Sophokia Gate Sap, right here. It's a very popular dungeon. People run this dungeon to get commas, primarily, and sometimes ores, I guess. At the end of the dungeon, you get to open one out of four chests that awards you with random loot. And this loot can vary from between zero commas to 15,000, with a small chance of getting a comma bag worth 30,000 commas. I think I got one in this video. But the mobs inside the dungeon have pretty decent drop rates as well. I'll put the drop tables on screen right now. As you can see, for example, the dark bakers, they drop a lot of bread. Especially if you're a bit lower level when you're running this dungeon, it's really nice. They all drop scrolls as well. Lumberjack scrolls, swordsmith scroll, etc. And these scrolls, they don't sell for that much alone. If you hoard them, basically, until you have 100, you can probably sell them for a good chunk of money. Dark miners as well drop diamond stones, which sells for roughly 2,000 commas, which is not that bad. A run takes me between 12 to 15 minutes, depending on how many people are running it, because this place can get really crowded. The key for this dungeon are pretty expensive. I think I paid around 2, 2.5 thousand commas per key, but I but you'll easily make that money back just by doing a few runs. So yeah guys, I'll show you some footage of me running this dungeon and then I'll come back and show you the results later. As you guys can see, this place can get pretty crowded, and sometimes getting a fight is really ass. This is by far the worst room in the dungeon. Most rooms I can usually finish in about 1 to 2 turns, but this one takes a lot longer than that. I can imagine if I were a craw or something, I could probably finish this much faster, but as a Fekka, I struggle a lot in this room. And when you get to this part of the dungeon, you can either fight this group to get on with the dungeon, or you can take the northwestern route for the solo path. You can only do that fight by yourself, but you shorten the dungeon with one to two fights, which is pretty nice.
And here I actually leveled up. Congrats me, 161. I did intend on soloing this dungeon, but considering how crowded it was, this is not very uncommon to see that a lot of people just join your fights. And considering I'm only here for the chest drops, I really didn't mind them helping me speed it up. So yeah, this is the chest room, with the dead eye op in the middle. There's four different chests, it really doesn't matter which one you pick, they're all random anyway. And when you open them, you get random loot. And getting back to the dungeon from here is super simple, you just go south two maps and west one map. My dumb ass got lost, so I had to backtrack for a bit. That's it guys, that's 10 smith runs done. As you can see, I made 61,204 commas from just the chests alone. I'll show you guys some screenshots of the loot that I got. As you can see, the keys costed me roughly 23,000 commas, ending me up with a total of 38,000 commas. This is 10 runs. A run takes me 10 to 20 minutes, so it's roughly almost two hours of running. And I don't think it's that good. I mean, I did get more commas than this because this is just from the chests, right? I got a few diamond stone drops, a few candle drops, and a bunch of scrolls. So I probably made closer to 50,000 commas, maybe even a bit more. I, I really don't like this dungeon that much. It's kind of ass to run it. There's a lot of people doing it, so it's pretty crowded. And seeing this, I'm actually kind of disappointed in the outcome. Oh well, the chest drops are heavily RNG based, right? Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys have any ideas of what type of videos I should make next, please let me know as well. See ya guys!